All right, folks, uh, today we're going to talk about the song Eminence Front by The Who. Now, I haven't seen a whole lot of people explaining how to play this song. It's a great song uh, to play on acoustic guitar. Uh, in fact, the only person I've ever seen play it, uh, 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 and this is what this, uh, this tutorial is, uh, is modeled after, is uh, uh, Michael Hedges, and uh, that was in the 90s sometime. And... Uh, um, <clears throat> the song is originally in F minor. I play it in E minor because um, the song's just easier to play in, in, in E minor. And I'll show you how that is uh, as we get into the song. But uh, as always, uh, let me go ahead and uh, start out first with the, uh, the song itself. And then we will, uh, we will get into how to play the song. Okay, <clears throat> that's the, uh, my take on acoustic version of uh, Eminence Front. Let me explain to you how to play this. Guitar is in standard tuning, as normal. Uh, the biggest thing is getting this, this little repeating, and it's done by a keyboard, uh, this, this repeating pattern as you're playing the E minor chord. So it's... I got a little bit of delay on the guitar, on the amp, uh, and it helps a little bit. And so you're basically uh, going to be starting in the E minor position. You're going to lift off your fingers with a sort of palm muting type type thing, and you're going to be be sort of hammering on on the second fret of the D string. So it's. And you've got to get that with your pick. To, to, to accent that D string second fret. So it's. <clears throat> the second chord is a C major seventh, and it's gonna do the exact same accent on that uh, second fret D chord, uh, uh, D, D string. So it's a C major seventh in the first position. Now, let me go ahead and zoom in. I'll zoom in on how I play that with my fingers on the pick side so that you have an idea of how that looks, okay? So watch this. It's very important to get that that sound down because that 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 repeats throughout the entire song. So um, throughout the singing and everything. So it's the the sun shines and people forget. 
first verse is just like this, E minor. And the first verse is completely like that, just, just uh, a repetitive between the E minor and the C major 7. Okay, <clears throat> now the, the verse, the chorus, or rather the chorus of the song basically goes in and the last of the verses, and people forget, forget their hiding. And it starts out on, on basically an open chord. That's your open chord. Essentially an E7 suspended fourth with no fifths. And you want to be just playing these upper four strings, really. So it's behind eminence front. So it's you just you're just basically gonna hammer down on uh, on the E minor after you play the open four strings up here. So it's behind eminence front. Eminence front. So put on. And you're just going to do the same little hammer on second fret of the D string again. So it's your open string and you're playing it. Behind eminence front. Eminence front. So put on. And you do that a second line, just like that. <clears throat> Now the next part of this song is the part that I really like because it's this whole whole chordal uh, run uh, that I've seen in other songs um, that uh, when I saw Michael Hedges doing it, he didn't play it exactly like that, but I think it was implied where it runs down all the chords. Uh, and I'll show you these chords. It's, it's great. And it's, it's the part of the song where it says, Come and join the party, dress to kill. Okay? So the way I play that is I start up here <clears throat> on the ninth fret in, in sort of an E7 position. So, and you're essentially going to be just playing the top three strings during this whole run. So it's this, this chord is called the G no, no fifth. So it's come and the next chord is an f sharp minor no fifth and it's essentially you're just uh covering the um seventh fret of the d string and the uh ninth fret of the a string so it's f sharp minor no fifth next next chord uh just slides down keeping that same position and then it, that's an e minor no fifth Okay, join. Now you're gonna shrink it back down again to this E seventh position. This is a D no fifth. The. And then you're gonna to go to a regular E minor. Party. And then you're gonna open. Uh, so we'll go from the E minor to the E seventh suspended fourth, no fifth. That's, that's open strings on all of them. I know that sounds funny. It'll sound right when, it, when we play it. And then you're going to go to a G. Now I play the G with just basically one, one finger uh, on the, uh, the, the middle finger on the uh, third fret of the low E. And then your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. So it's, so it's, it's kind of a real small, it's like a small G. And then you're going to go down to just one finger. So it's the second fret of the low E string. This chord is another strange one. This is an F sharp minor sharp fifth. And I know that sounds strange, but you'll see how it comes together. And then it goes back to the C major seventh. So let me play that entirely and you'll see how that comes together so it's so you see how that rolls down 
it's a great way to go from the very top and make this this run this quarter run all the way down so it really fits this song and i think that's sort of the way michael hedges did it in his video around the no mid 90s something like that before his death so <clears throat> i may go ahead and uh and uh, call out the chords real slowly again so uh you can see this real clearly so that's a g no fifth and then I'm going to go to an F sharp minor, no fifth, to an E minor, no fifth, to a D, no fifth, to an E minor, to an E seven suspended fourth, no fifth, that's all open, to a G, to an F sharp minor, no uh, sharp fifth, to a C major seven. Okay, so let me play that last line, and then I'll show you the uh, the, the the last line of the uh, um, of the chorus. So it's. Dress to kill. Now you you can do this B seventh or a B suspended second, or just a B. The half Barbie it just builds tension back up. People forget. People forget. Okay, so there's a second verse on this song. Um, that, that goes down, uh, you can get that out again. Then it plays the chorus again. And then it essentially ends the same way, going down these, these chords. Dress to keep. And Michael had just sort of ends it right like that so it's really a uh, kind of a, a quick ending but you can stay and rock out and and fade out on the uh, uh, um, the last line I've seen that done before okay so anyway that's how you play uh, eminence front on uh, acoustic guitar uh, obviously, it would sound great if you had uh, some keyboards and uh, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but I think it sounds pretty good even with that. So add a little delay to your to your amp, and you'll really uh, be able to get this song down. So uh, hopefully that helps some of you who've been wondering about this song. Uh, uh, I I haven't seen too much of it on the YouTube. Uh, uh, but as always, if you have any questions about uh, this video tabs. Or anything about this uh, this tutorial just go ahead and leave a comment or a question at uh, my YouTube channel and as always have a great day